So we have an outlook already. It looked like last week the computer models were piecing together a fairly large weather system, and now it looks like it's definitely a guarantee. So it is possible from Waco into Dallas up towards Texarkana outside Little Rock and Shreveport, Louisiana, highlighted in red. That's where it's very likely that we will see severe storms develop on Wednesday, but it's possible all the way south towards Austin, Oklahoma City, Fort Smith, and even Memphis, Tennessee. So we have a big dip in the jet stream. That is plunging down that cold air all the way down the west coast into the southwest. And what's going to be happening is we'll see an area of low pressure develop coming off of the Rockies. That cold front is going to be slamming into a huge plume of very moist, warm Gulf air. That collision of those two air masses, the cold, dry air up to the north, and all that humid air coming off the Gulf is the perfect setup for that outburst of severe weather. In addition to that, we have the jet stream right on top of us. The jet stream, that fast moving river of air up in the sky that pushes these storms from west to east. It adds a little spin in the atmosphere, which is another reason why we are looking at that risk of severe weather. So we'll watch it unfold again. The timeline for this Wednesday into Thursday over very populated spots. Let's take you through your future track. You can see the snow developing over the Colorado Rockies. This is Wednesday night. A little bit of spin evident in the southwest as that area of low pressure starting to transfer over into Texas. Now, by the time we get to Thursday morning, we'll see some rain and thunderstorms developing from from Texas into Oklahoma, and that continues to push out towards the east. So going into Thursday, we are still tracking the threat of severe weather from Tennessee into Mississippi all the way into Louisiana. And likely as we go into Friday, we will see still the chance of severe weather possibly for the Carolinas. So again, this is going to be a big ticket item for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Here's the outlook for Thursday right now just posted as possible. But keep in mind, we are several days out from the severe weather outbreak, so we're going to see adjustments and most likely we'll see this outlook up graded as we get closer. Here's a look at the rain that we are anticipating. It does not look to be a flooding situation, but we're going to see a healthy amount of rain coming in for Dallas, where we could see some localized street flooding just underneath the heaviest thunderstorms. One to two inches of rain here. Shreveport, Louisiana, half inch to an inch of rain. Jackson, Mississippi, half inch to an inch. And Meridian, Mississippi, one to two inches of rain. So that's the good news is that the flooding aspect looks to be low on the totem pole, but unfortunately, that looks like we could have a larger risk when it comes to hail and yes, tornadoes will likely be a threat as we work our way through the severe weather event. So we'll continue to watch it very closely. Again, Jason, the big headline here is that this is a weather system that will be producing severe weather for Wednesday into Thursday. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.